Okay, I got a driveway here. We'll go through it step by step. This one's not that bad. The uh, city didn't push that much in there. And uh, that was because up there, over there, I had pushed it up. So when the plow come by, uh, when the city plow come by, they don't push it back in the driveway. So that that's a doctor's office up there, and uh, they pile up snow here. So they don't care if I push some more in there. Okay, so we'll go through this step by step here. So the tough part is getting in there because I'm on a small road. It's just a regular road. So let's see here. I'm I'm gonna pull up on on the uh, the opposite side. So let's see, stop signs over here. I'm gonna pull up over here. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it's just a matter of hitting your angles, right? I'll put it in reverse. See, I'm trying to get in the driveway so I can back drag it. Okay, so I'm going to uh, turn the wheel. Sometimes I, I hit it good and sometimes I don't, so I'm pretty good here. So this driveway is actually kind of tough because of all the bushes. When the cars aren't there, I try to go up by the garage. And when you back up, the, the bushes scratch, scratch the truck. So that's no fun. Okay, so the driveway is pretty clear, so I, I think that's as far as I have to go. So I got it in reverse now. I always put it in reverse first because get in the habit of always putting it in reverse first. Okay, see it, see it, see it's in reverse. And then put the plow down. Okay, always do the same thing. Get into a routine of always doing the same thing. That's how you uh, pull into garage doors. You know, you put the plow down and you think you're in reverse and then you back up and and you're actually in forward. See here, you see, Paul's getting stuck on, on that hump of dirt there on the side. So this is an old driveway, it's not even at all. Okay, so yeah, I'm on a main road here, so there's cars coming, I have to get out of the way here. Okay, and I'm gonna back up some here. I'm gonna drag it out in the road so I can. Push it up in the pile there. Okay, so I put the plow up, but I'm still in reverse. Okay, so I have to go forward a little bit here. See, there's not, there's not much room there. Okay, so back up. So it's kind of hard to see over the truck because it's it's uh, lifted. So I have to back way up. And uh, what I do is I, I angle the plow like that. Put it in drive. And I'm going to try to come up and catch it like this. And then push it into the pile. So you know each driveway will be different. So here I can do that because there's no one that lives next door, you know. So
Okay, so that got most of it. See, and then that, that little bit that's left here, see if you can see it, there's just a little bit by the driveway. Right, right there. That's always a pain. That's always a pain to clean up. So there's plowing, and then there's cleanup. It's two separate things, okay? It's easy to plow all the heavy snow out of the way. So what I do here is I put the plow the whole way like that, and then I go on that side of the road. And then I come at it like this. Bob's down now, and then I push that up in, into the pile. So in my state, or at least my county or my city, I know I talked to the Ohio State Patrol, we're allowed to push snow across the street, as long as the neighbors don't mind. So I, 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 I talked to the State Patrol, and he actually said sometimes that's the only thing you do is push across the street. So but uh, I I still try to keep it on the property. That way there's no problems with the neighbors. You know, if you mess up the neighbors, sometimes you gotta do the neighbors free you know that's rare you know you know you know if you're friends with them and stuff like that you know of course I always ask them, you won't sue me if I break something right at least you have a verbal okay so uh, I, I had to go down the end of the road and turn around probably could have turned around and driveway but easier just to go down to the end of the road so I'm coming back to look at this and see see what I did here okay, you can see there's still some in the driveway here some people don't care you know, but, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up I'll just back drag it I've heard some states you're not allowed to back drag out into the road. So you, you can't even pull it out on the road and then push it over. That's in some of the worst states. I think fella told me up in Massachusetts. It's like one, it's like one of the worst states for snow. You can't pull it out on the road. That's got to be a nightmare. Uh, if they built the driveway correctly, you know, you can plow it and push the snow off to the, off to the side. My niece used to have a house that was uh, like that. It had a big driveway off to the side of the garage there's a big cement pad where you could uh, push the snow so it, it made it real easy so most of it's just hit and miss you know I guess you've been doing it for 20 years it gets easier you know it's like playing a guitar for 20 years 20 years you, you take it for granted so I think that's good enough for, for now you see there's still some here and some over there you know but it's supposed to snow another 12 hours so I'll, I'm not gonna worry about that she can get her car in when she gets home